What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Of course, you know it's your boy Beehive Radio Shout in. Stepping in the building, I got my Florida fam off in this thing. Yes, Young sir. Cash, what's good with it, boss? What's do, man? What to do, man? Appreciate you having me. Man, man appreciate dog. you putting up in this thing. Yeah, now, yeah. I mean, Cash, first of all, you're making your way through the A town right now as we yeah. speak. What got you moving and grooving in the city, boss? Shit, you know, I'm always back and forth to the A. You know, the yeah. bro stay up here. You mm-hmm. know, this is where our uh, headquarters at for, mm-hmm. you know, Napping Boy and shit. So, that's right. I'm up here working, uh, we're working on a project called Blues Brothers. Mm-hmm. And um, we also to go on tour, so we fan for the tour. Yeah, I just got on the phone with Monte. He said he was on the phone with you. Earlier. I just talked yeah, to Monte. <laughs> yeah, you know, he paying DJ. So damn right. Yeah, they, we putting together the show right now for the uh, tour. Yeah, so we yeah. Got about 15, 20 dates already. That's crazy. Up. So we up there for that. Fan for that. Coming out of Jacksonville with it though, man. What was that like for you, Cash? Shit, it was hard, bro. They, you know, it ain't like how it is now. You know, what I'm saying they got all the social media and all that. You know, what I'm saying I came from that the grind. You know, yeah. what I'm talking about where, where I used to watch the Atlanta. Folks, can we see say what you feel in here? Oh, how the Atlanta niggas was doing, you feel me? They yeah. power gorilla, you know what I'm saying, on the streets with it. Yeah. Uh, CD, 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 T-shirt, T-shirt, big posters and all that, you feel me? I came from that era, so yeah. I was on that time in Florida, in Jacksonville, where nobody ain't seen that type of shit. Yeah. So I was going hard like that, and then, you know, I got recognized by... Uh, by uh, Steve Rifkin, you mm. feel me? For um, you know, we used to be a loud record. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. So he ended up coming and finding me out of Jacksonville, and that's how I got my first deal. What was going through your mind when you got your first deal, though, man, out of Jacksonville? Yeah, I was like, man, I was happy because everybody else had to go elsewhere. Yeah, you feel me? Yeah. I ain't saying everybody else, but like we most never, folk. Had, yeah, yeah, most folk, yeah, you know, you got to go to Miami or Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause Jacksonville, like you know, they consider like a country city or whatever, yeah. but. Like, 69 boys was the last big thing we had. Come you know what I'm saying? You know saying? They yeah. came from the city. And them boys had really, like, went to Orlando. Yeah. So, I really wanted to show the city that, nigga, we can do it from right here. Exactly. So, that's what I was thinking at that time. I was like, yeah, I don't really was the, the first nigga to do it, like, on some street rap shit. Exactly. To get on, you know what I'm saying? So When you, you know, got OGs, look. like, bigger ranking down there in Florida, yeah. connecting Pops. the whole state, man. Yeah. I mean, can you speak of the importance that he played in just man, helping listen. folks in general, including yourself, get yeah. some movement in this yeah, thing? Yeah, he was... He was uh, Real monumental in my career. Like he was the first person to actually get because they wasn't playing no local music in the in the clubs like mm-hmm. they did in other cities. You feel me? Especially yeah. like in Atlanta or Texas, shit like they won't they won't play no local music at all. Yeah, Big Ranger was the first person to actually break records in the club that you know what I'm saying from the from the city. Facts. You feel me? So like, I, I think I was like 16 years old when I first. He was the first person I ever rapped to. Mm-hmm. Big Ranger. So. After that, like we had got a club together, him and my older brother, him, they had got a club together, and then yeah. like the movement started. Like that's when the movement started with like the you know the local artists started getting on and shit. Mm-hmm. So like Big Ranger was just like he was like the, the glue. Like everybody was fucking with him like in different places. So he he popped a lot of niggas off. TJ's DJs as well yeah, too, yeah, man, yeah. and that's what's so crazy because names like Bigger Ranking and TJ's DJs, those are familiar names in the A as right. well. It's not yeah. just Florida; it's like they get biz up here too. Yeah, they, so I mean, speak on TJ. They though. both they both started like you know what I'm saying in their respective cities. You feel yeah. me? Like TJ had the uh, record pool shit popping, like when yeah. that shit was you know what I'm saying with booming. Yeah. So he had TJ DJs, and I used to always you know what I'm saying support him and exactly. you know what I'm saying and sponsor do all the shit with him. And like uh, him, he hooked me up with. Uh, well, I don't know if he hooked me up with. I was uh, messing with Julia Beverly. Yeah, you know what up, with no the old, Julia. Yeah, yeah. I was on magazine exactly. shit. So she was uh, a big part of my uh, my career too. Like okay. I used to end up heavy. So like I had met TJ, and then I started you know doing going to the record pools and all that, and that's how I got a lot of popularity too. As far as on the music, like fucking with TJ, cause he you know he a taste maker. You know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. You know he got he plugged in everywhere. So what was that whole mixtape scene like down there though? At the same time, I mean it was it was pretty good because like like I said we we pretty much followed the 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 footsteps of like the Atlanta and the, yeah. you know what I'm saying. So y'all been doing that shit. So like we ain't never really had no music scene period in yeah. Jacksonville. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, sixty nine. Well, that shit was like a decade yeah. before I came. You know what Fact. I'm saying? So. Like, we started doing just following that same blueprint, man, just, you know, uh, jumping on niggas' beats and just putting that shit out there, like, you know what I'm saying, and just gaining some popularity through the mixtape circuit, so... Was on when that you think about your music, though, Cash, I mean, being able to get in there and have bangers from Gotti and Bun B and stuff yeah. like that, can you talk about some of those features that you was able to get that and really, how them <laughs> things came about, man? <laughs> that shit was just really on some street shit, man. I was just a young street nigga, man. Like, before I signed with um, Universal, like, I had my own money, so... Come on. 
I was, you know, I was in the streets going fucking with Texas and yeah. you know, cartels out there in Texas and shit. So that's how I got on the little Texas music. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So I, as I would be coming from the valley, mm. I, when I'm coming through, I would hear that shit and I would like, I got on that shit. So I started bringing them niggas yeah. to Florida to, you know what I'm saying, and making that little connection. So Come I like, on. I brought, I befriended uh, Mike Jones. That's my main dude. Mike Jones. Mike Jones, Paul Wall, Slim yes, Thug. I fuck with all them boys. Yeah. Mike hit, hooked me up with um, Bum B. So I was doing features with all them niggas, Ooh. paying them straight out of my pocket. Yeah. You feel me? So, and with Bum B, like, I had flew that nigga down. I flew him from Houston to Jacksonville and did two features with him. And then mm. by that time, I had, you know, I had got a deal. Yeah. And um, same way your guy that, like, he was fucking with bigger rankings hard. Yeah. And, like, so I was really, like, the first person to put him on, like, on a Florida song. And, like, yeah. I had a Florida you know, people fucking with him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? On the, I had a song called X, and he jumped on the remix. Him and yeah. Sean J. Okay. And then um, it just we just got cool from there, bubbled up. And then when I um, when I came out here, uh, I was just in the studio at, uh, I forgot the name of that studio. And I had this song called Pure Cocaine. We go cheap. No, only that shit was crazy though, bro. Cause like I, ain't, you know, that was a bigger uh, thing. Yeah. I ain't even know Gucci. I fought with Gotti. You know, man, him had to, um, yeah. you know, so I fought with Gotti. So I ain't know Gucci. Yeah. So um, Gotti was like, "Hey, man," he said, "Let me um, use this. I'm finna do this shit called Cocaine Music. This is volume one, now. Yeah. So I'm like, shit. I don't, you know, yeah, you can use a song. You know what I'm saying? I thought it was gonna help me blow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? So. When he put that shit out, I gave Big Orangas the files. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so when I gave Big Orangas, you know, that's Pops. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I gave him the files. He sw they switched my verse last. Mm. And then he put Gucci on it. Yeah. So it was it's Gotti, Gucci, and then me. Yeah. I still smash. I, I Come feel on, like I smashed man. the boy. I'm just keeping the game. You exactly. Feel me? I feel like I smashed the boy. But anyway, you know, that's, it's all friendly <laughs> competition, but... So when Gotti put that shit out, yeah. it like it was Gotti's song. Yeah. You feel me? So I just got kind of, you know what I'm saying, pushed to the side on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it is what it is. But that shit got millions and millions of views all on YouTube Come and shit. on. I mean, but what was that like having a critically acclaimed trap record during a time where, you know, this trap music is starting to bubble in this yeah, thing? Yeah, it was, it was dope, man. Like I just said, I ain't never really get to feel the full effects of it because yeah. <laughs> everybody thought that shit was Gotti's song. Yeah, yeah. And it just took off like that. So, I mean, I went, but you know, I'm a team player. You feel me? Like if, it, if it's like that, it's like that. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really tripping or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? I, feel you. I still got love with Gotti. Oh, it's, we still cool. I ain't talking to nigga in ages, but yeah. it's still love. You know what I'm saying? If I see him, show him. You know what I'm saying? I was team, but. Yeah, I never, I never uh, got the benefits of that record, but that nigga, to got it, when he got on that bit, that bitch out of here. Everybody <laughs> thought we got it. You feel me? A young T Pain man, can you speak on that Nappy Boy relationship, man, and how far back y'all go? If you go way back to the beginning, man, like yeah. I was just on my shit, you know what I'm saying? Like on my promo shit, you know, I used to go out, like I said, the old school game. I used to go, I ride to the cities, exactly. go and get it, pass out my shit, do whatever. And um, I was in Tallahassee. And, uh, and actually, Van from Sixty Nine Boys, Through the Player, was yeah. on the radio station, mm. and I heard that he, they play. I was doing the interview, yeah, and they played the Sprung record. And I'm like, God damn, this shit, man! And he was like, Man, that's the little nigga from um, Nappy Heads. Yeah, he says the youngest one. He do all the beats and all. I said, Well, shit, mm. what do you want for the beats? Yeah, they said, Man, that man y'all like fifty dollars or something like that. I said, Shit, I need man, cause I came to tell that when I came to tell that I came to party for real. Yeah, I came to promote and party. Yeah, so I bring like you know 10, 15 bands just to, for me and my dog just come to on, play. Now. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I got down there, man. I heard the song. So they called a the nigga. He came up to the um, radio station. I rode back to his house mm. on Ridge Road. Went to the studio with him, listened to, listened to a couple of beats. I had picked out like three beats. And then, so, uh, you know, I got the $150, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He like, oh, yeah, they, they 500 a beat. <laughs> like 500 I said, God damn, they just told me. Yeah. You know, 50 or 150, some shit like that. Yeah. Um, so I was like, you know what, dog? I, he's like, he like, man, they be try, people be trying to hate on me, dog. They don't want me to. I said, I know, <laughs> listen, bro, I know what you're going through. I, the same shit in my city. Yeah. Y'all be going through that shit. So, but, so I ended up giving him $1,000 a beat. Yeah. So, yeah, on, just on me. There you go. Little, psh, yeah. Shout out three. Then I said, come out to Jackson with me, man. You stay with me. Yeah. Come just drop in my studio, you feel me? Yeah. And, and you know, me and my brother gave him like another 7,000. So that's how we met. And then we just been cool ever since. But then I was finna get a deal with um, Universal. That's when I was finna, my first deal with Universal. Mm. And I told him, I said, look, I got a little partner with me. Got the song called Sprung, jamming. Yeah. You feel me? They were like, so they did their little research, listened to it. And then they got him and um, TJ a ticket to LA too. <laughs> and then they flew him out there with me to get, uh, when I got my deal. Mm -hmm. But you know, they ain't, they ain't sign paying though. What? They signed me. They ain't want him. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like they were like, nah, we'll do a single deal, blah, blah, blah. But we won't care. They signed me. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But then you know Akon came and got him a job. Like, exactly. A couple months later. So So now what good. was that like for you? Was this your second or third deal you was on? No, that was my first deal. Okay. So okay. um 
And then, like, I just had a lot of bullshit. I had a, my, my older brother was a psycho. Like, everybody yeah. know my brother, God bless the dead, but he was just a wild nigga. And um, he did some crazy that man. He did, he he was kind of like me and him had like a little bro, brotherly rivalry. Even though he was my older, brother, I looked up to him. He was like like a dad and yeah. a brother. You feel me? He raised me. Yeah. So like he got really upset that I did it on my own because mm. I had we was in, I was in a group. Yeah. And I went solo and did this shit on my own. I got my own deal on my own. You feel yeah. me? So he um he pretty much one I was in L A or something like that. Me and my mm. producer, he took my drive <laughs> and, <laughs> and drove to Miami and told Steve Rifkin he got my drive and he ain't giving up unless he give him a million dollars. Like it was crazy shit like that. So that whole shit like Steve was like man this this these these guys crazy like so he shelved me. Damn. Right? So. I like whatever, cool. I still was in the streets going, so I yeah. wasn't really tripping on that. So I'm doing my one two, and then like finally I ran into pain in um, L. A. Yeah, at a video shoot or some shit. He was like, man, he's like, what they, what the fuck they, what are they doing yeah. with your shit? I like, man, I'm that guy, boy got me shelf. He's like, man, fuck that, bro. I'm finna, I'm finna get you out of the shit. I'm just, I'm gonna sign you to my shit. Yeah, and like, oh, I swear to God, a couple weeks. He called Steve. I don't know what he did. <laughs> <laughs> but he, I guess he's called Steve River. They came over with a little number. He bought yeah. me out that deal and assignment to Napa Boy. And that was 2000, end of 2008. So what was that like when you touched down with Napa Boy and the movement is going crazy, man? Man, listen. The best best thing that ever happened and the worst thing that ever happened. What? Best thing, I signed, boom, I'm back with my brother. Yeah. We finna, we finna go crazy. Yeah. Back on the feds. Oh! Yeah, yeah well, 2003. Yeah, we got my diamond paper say 2003. Joey Williams, aka Young Cash, went to Brownsville, Texas, in the Rio Grande Valley. I was like, oh, lost 2009. Yeah, ain't no motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, what you call that shit? Um, uh, Statue of Limitations yeah, or something exactly. like that. They're like, nah, if it's an ongoing investigation, yeah, it could be forever. I be telling niggas that, no, oh, yeah, boy, it's seven years, my nigga. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that shit over. Nah, nigga, if it's an ongoing investigation, the boy can do whatever they want. And it was, it was six years, you know, it wasn't even seven, but yeah, they came and yeah. Okay. What the hell was going through your mind then, Cash? You you back where you need to be and it's about Dang. to go the fuck down in yeah. the bed, say hello? Yeah, I was like, man, damn. I just remember we was in the studio in Miami at the Hit Factory. I remember my mama calling me. My mama was like, yes, yeah, son, the U.S. Marshals here, they're taking all your cars. Shit. And I'm like, what? I thought you were playing or something. Yeah. And then I hear my mama say in the background, because you know in the streets, like back in the day, like the dope boy be like, they put the car in their old lady name or their mm-hmm. mama name. So he try to, man, shit. My mama was like, that um, that homo, that's in my that's in my name. Before was like, hey, do you want anything to do with this ma'am? <laughs> my mama was like, oh, no, no, sir. All right, we're we taking this car. Yeah. You feel me? So they took my cars and shit. You know, and they were like, yeah, you got to come turn yourself in. So, you know. Pain got me the lawyer and all this shit, man. It was just a headache because, like, I was, like, past that shit. You feel exactly. me? Exactly. Nigga was, like, really doing, you know, I want my music shit. Yeah. I had laid that shit down. You feel yeah. me? So it was just, like, I had to just to face the music on that. You know what I'm so saying? So how the hell do they bring the old stuff back after you done laid it down? It's because like, like I just, said, if it's an ongoing, they were trying to get me since I was, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Really, they wanted my brother because my brother was a man. Then my brother had got shot. Uh, and paralyzed. Yeah. You feel me? So I kind of, you know what I'm saying, took over then. You exactly. feel me? So. I was running running shit, and then you, I guess they just, you know, they was try, always trying to get me, but, like, they thought I was in the city with it. I was all the way in Texas in, in the Rio Grande Valley with the Mexican yeah. cartel doing my thing. So they didn't know what the fuck was going on. So yeah. they could never, you know what I'm saying, pinpoint with nobody in Jacksonville. So yeah. And then I started doing Then I got my deal, like, around 06. So then I, I laid that shit down. Exactly. I was chilling, you feel me? And then, but, you know, like I said, they, they came with it. So I had to face me. But the judge, even he understood. He was like, he said, I, he said, he, he, he was leaning on me. He was like, I ain't never seen nobody come before me that put the game down. He said, I respect people who get caught. They go to prison and then change their life. You feel me? I respect yeah. that, too. He said, but you changed your life in the streets. Mm. You've seen before. You know, yeah, see, before they, you got came, yeah. yeah. So he said, I respect that. That's why he gave me a little slap on the wrist. Got yeah. two years and five-year paper. And I was, I was done with it. You feel me? Them two years though, man, because it's still motion that's being paused. Man, that shit, that two years in the in the, uh, in the music, music industry is a whole oh, different. What? Well, listen, <laughs> and I had a hit record. Yeah. Oh, why well, had a hit record at a time too, man? It was like the worst shit. Like I said, yeah. everything was like it's like it's my career been like that. Like yeah. the, the work, the good shit. Like boom, I got a song. Uh, pure. I get a deal first. Of all, I get a deal out of Jacksonville, which is unheard of. Yeah. Good shit. Then they get, I get shelved. Yeah. Then I got a, a, a dope ass song, Pure Cocaine. I put Yo Guy on it. He put on his shit, switching around, the verse around, lad. Then it like his song, bitch. 
Yeah. Back in the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I get the deal with pain. He buy me out my deal, get a whole breathe a whole new life into me. Here come the feds. My you God. feel me? Like it's been like that, man. Like my whole career. Like yeah. I just don't know what you know what I'm saying? So I ain't tripping the like I just keep pushing because this shit in me. You feel me? Yeah. This shit's so easy to me. Like it's easy. Come on. So I just basically when I came home, like I had five year papers in anyway. I couldn't really move around like that. So I had I had my, my twins, you know that, and everybody know you follow me on Instagram. Everybody know my twins, everything to me. That's my right. kids, I got an older son too, but my yeah. twins, everything to me. So I just really on fatherhood, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Time like the past that the past them five years, you know what I'm saying? And pain was like, come on, bro, we got to shape bike, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this shit. You know, pain put fire back on the mat, you know what I'm saying? Come on. What was it like having to watch the movement move without you while you were sitting down, though, man? That shit was crazy too, cause I was like, man, I remember we was in uh. Uh, watching 106 apart, and Bum B came on that. He was like, "Yeah, man, shout out to my nephew, Young Cash. He the one who put this song to him. When him and Payne had that song. Yeah, he said like, he the one who I hit up for me. He put this song mm. together. So shout out, man. Them niggas were going crazy in that <laughs> bit. But they were like, what you doing? Cause I ain't never say shit when I was I was in South Carolina. Yeah, Edgefield, South Carolina, in federal prison. So I ain't never say, you know, I was yeah. in Florida. Niggas knew what was up. Exactly. And a few Jordan, you know, what I'm saying kind of close to, but like. And then, like, few side kind of, but like, the majority of the motherfuckers ain't know what it was. And I ain't, I ain't in there like, oh, yeah, I'm this and that. You know what I'm exactly. saying? I'm in there, they're doing my little time. Yeah, doing the time. A little quick little time to get out of them, man. Exactly. So when they seen that shit on 106 season part, and then Pan came on there, and, you know, he had a free young cash and all oh. that. Oh. Yeah, shit was crazy. I was ready to hurry and get it, because, you know, nigga, when see, nigga see shit like that, nigga be want to. <laughs> yeah, start some shit. Yeah, want to start some shit. <laughs> I'm glad it was toward the end, but I was to get out that bitch. <laughs> But it was like, but yeah, I've seen, but I'm looking in the, you know, billboard and mm-hmm. shit, seeing, you know, because Payne had sampled one of my songs. I had a song called uh, Single Mothers, mm-hmm. and he had sampled that and put, that was a sample on Booty Work. Yeah. So he put feature in Young Cat, I would love on him to put mm-hmm. me on that shit. So I'm looking at the billboard, my shit, my name stayed on the billboard, it was, it was dope. Exactly. But, you know, a nigga wanted to get home and get in that mix, you feel me? All I do is win, man. Yeah. What the hell shit. was going on with that, Cat? That was some other shit. Well, I'm telling you, I got the, the crazy story behind. <laughs> See this shit, man. This wind squad. I am the wind. Yeah. I am the wind. Come you on. You feel me? So, this the deal, right? So, Khaled. I mean, think what you want about it. I mean, I got my own personal views on dog. Like, I I, I don't fuck with dog, but it is mm-hmm. what it is, but... The situation where you see how pain, all that work pain did for him. Yeah. You feel me? That was a lot of shit. Like, really, I feel like pain popped it off. You feel that whole movement with Cali doing it? it. Yeah, yeah, man, I feel like he popped it off. But and I, I, I ain't heard pain phone rain from him since, mm. since all that. You feel me? Like, come on, nigga, done did two, three. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's him. That's him and pain shit. When he was doing the song, he when he was gonna do the song for Cali. That's when I had just signed. Mm. So there was like, so Mike Blunstein was a uh, man pain manager. He told uh, me that. Whatever whatever the song Pain do for Cal, the next one, you're gonna be on it. It's gonna be your debut to, you know, you old nappy boy, and I would do yeah. thing, right? Cool. So, excuse me, I told Pain, I said, well, shit, if I'm gonna be on this shit, if it's gonna be my debut, let's just do a win song. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, my shit, the win squad, you know, I do. I, I talk that win talk. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I put everybody know that. So, Pain was like, yeah, that's dope. Yeah. So, Pain did the hook, I did a verse. First, they like, this verse too gangster. Like the first verse, then I kind of dumbed it down for radio. Did another verse, mm-hmm. and it was, then when it came to Cali, Cali like, oh yeah, man, um, you know what I'm saying? I already had kind of had who I wanted to be on the song and all this shit. So I'm like, man, what's this? Here go this industry bullshit that I ain't with, cause I don't, I ain't for all that fuck. Yeah. You know, I ain't for the fuck. Really. Like, I, nigga, say what you mean me. That's all I know. You feel yeah. me? I don't know nothing about our industry shit, cause I slap a nigga in the mouth. Yeah. I ain't got time for all that industry game shit. Like yeah. I told, I said, I don't know that world. Yeah. I'm, from, I'm a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? So. Pain was like, yeah, yeah, just, you just chill. So I'm like, you know what? I chill. I, I'm because I'm like I said, I be a team player. When it, if I gotta be, I know how to be a motherfucking chief and an indie. That's right. You feel me? So cool. I'm like, well, you know they'll throw a nigga on the remix. You feel me? Or something. You know what I'm saying? Boom, remix come out. No call, no nothing. Mm. I'm like, man, these niggas just gonna take a nigga whole idea and then you feel me? So. Yeah. Whole city of Jacksonville done went AWOL on mm. Cali. They hitting them on Intuit or whatever it was at the time. Oh, you still a young cash shit, blah, 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 blah this, this, right? Mm-hmm. So we run into him in D.C. This will really fuck me up by Cali. I run into him in D.C. and like, he was like, um, yeah, man, they, yeah, man, your city going crazy on me, man. Like, they saying, um, I stole your shit and all that. He said, but I, I remember like when I was telling him, I was just telling him, man, I just want to win. I'm just trying. I said, nigga, that ain't what the fuck you said, nigga. You said you wanted another I'm so hood or something like that. That's what you said, nigga. I'm the one. This is my shit, nigga. How you gonna tell me what it is? You know what I'm saying? But anyway, it was what it was, man. Like, 
I was mad as fuck. I ain't gonna lie about that one because I was like, man, I done got shitted again. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Nigga, supposed to be on that bitch. That shit would have been a good ass look for a nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, what I did, all right, bet. I picked up the phone to call my dogs. Mm-hmm. I did a hood version. Mm-hmm. Picked up the phone. I called Titty Boy or Two Chain, you know, yeah. Titty Boy back then. I yeah. called Titty Boy. Yeah. Bro, I got this motherfucking shit, man. The nigga done shit on Say no more, little bro. <laughs> Two Chain verse. Yeah. Call Got It. Got It, man. Then nigga, hey, say no more, bro. Call Uncle Bunch. Yeah. Say no more. Yeah. Who else I call? French Montana. Nah, These God. niggas, I'm picking up my phone to call. Yeah. And now you gotta realize I ain't no major artist. Yeah. I'm an up and coming nigga. Yeah. But niggas fuck with me because from the streets and shit, and they just know, you know, I'm a solid nigga. Yeah. So I had um Two Chains, Bum B, Yo Gotti. You know, my bros, Phil Mob. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I had Phil Mob on there, smoking yeah. Sean J. I had Gutter Gutter from Cash Money, that was my dog. And then yeah. Payne jumped back on it. Mm. So I had my own version, man. I like fuck them niggas and did my own version. Exactly. So that was that. On and that. how did that version do for you? I mean, it ain't. It wasn't. You know, that shit was so big. Yeah. It wasn't cut that shit go stick. <laughs> 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 the original one. You feel me? I feel yeah, you. That was one of. The, I swear to God, that's one of the best hooks paying ever. You know what I'm saying? That shit still. That shit gonna go forever. You yeah. Feel me? That nigga still yeah. getting. You know what I'm talking about. So, but it, I just had to do it for me to just show nigga, nigga, I can, you know what I'm saying? Fuck you. Exactly. I don't need you, you know what I'm saying? I can, and all them niggas, our name is t- top tier niggas. This ain't no Facts. pushovers. You feel me? The Nappy Boy label, though, man. I mean, what is that like being able to still partner with your partner and then get to the money and keep the movement going after all of these trials yeah. and tribulations, yeah, man? Like, niggas don't know, like, it's the business ups and downs. Like, paying them been down before. Like, niggas yeah. ain't seen that, you know, and it, and it goes to show that. When you know when niggas up, you see all the niggas be around and all that shit. When Payne was down, like after the you know the Jay Z and the Auto Tune shit yeah. and all that, and he took a break. Like, answer me this, man. When uh, I was Jay Z hauled out and made a song called Death to Auto Tune. Not even that at the fucking Summer Jam. I was there. We had just I was there, bro. Well, you got to break down the Summer Jam, mm-hmm. Timmy. Then and see, then me I'm and Payne, me back and Payne argue about this shit all the time. Uh-huh. Like this shit crazy. Like me and Payne argue all the time about history yeah. in itself. Anyway, so if you ever okay, it's like it's like a, we need a TV show for this shit. Yeah, how much we argue about this shit. So he got a different version, but I'm gonna tell you the version I know from me. This is me. Yeah. We was in motherfucking summer jam. Yeah. Mike Blunstein came in our trailer and said, "Hey man, Jay Z said he wanted us to come out on stage with him." It's a it's a background shit that I didn't know about. Now that Payne told me now that I didn't know, so mm-hmm. now I kind of figured out, but. I guess it was the radio station like was kind of trying to set it up like that, but mm-hmm. they said, "Why her out of Mike Blunt's mouth? Jay Z want you to come out on Death Auto Tune." Mm-hmm. So I'm like, "Nigga, we made it. You feel me? Yeah. Because Jay, I kept trying to tell Payne from the beginning, like Jay Z didn't diss you, my nigga. Yeah. He said y'all T Pain. He really bigging you up. Yeah. He said y'all T Pain too much. Yeah. So I don't know what you know Payne. He, he you know he back then, especially when he was sipping heavy. He's, he go ahead and on his own mind and make up whatever he wanted to make up. You yeah. feel me? But he never diss <laughs> Payne. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's bigging him up. So I was like, damn, well, this finna be it, boy. You finna walk out there with Jay-Z, my nigga? This finna be, whew. So when we get out there, and this I felt like, because you remember the next day on the radio, Jay-Z was like, I ain't know who it was mm. walking out there. And I was like, what, nigga? Like, how you gonna play it like that when, nigga, they, Mike came to the trailer telling us, did you said this, yeah. but it didn't really come from Jay-Z, I don't think. Mm. I think the radio was trying to set it up like that, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cute. Yeah. yeah. So, man, I swear to God, when we walked out that bitch, dog. Cause you know he had the uh, the, uh, the mu- what they call the uh, Muslim security, the, yeah, F O I, the uh, flower, the fruit, fruit, fruit of Islam. Yeah. Them niggas were deep too, boy. So <laughs> it's like a block of niggas. Like we had just got off the stage, so we you know the summer jam stayed huge. Yeah. So we we right here by the stage. So when me and Payne walk up and uh, we had in security, I'm standing right by Payne, security behind us. Man, the shit just opened up like this, it boy, like the fucking uh. Partner with the Red Sea. Yeah. So I'm like, oh yeah, Jay Z did. Oh, he had to authorize this because they're not finna just let no nigga just exactly. walk. Exactly. Not, not by Jay Z. Because even when he was walking up, I'm like, nigga, you couldn't even get to him. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Shit, part like the Red Sea. Payne walked out there. Yeah, they rock, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Whatever they did. And then that was that. And then the next day, like, Jay Z was like, man, I ain't know who that was walking on the stage. And then they was like, oh, T Pain, the headline T Pain walks out to his own funeral and all type of shit. Like, it was crazy. So, but from my understanding, like I said, from my understanding, they said that Jay Z wanted this to happen. Yeah. And then when I seen the the fruit of Islam open up, I like, yeah, he had to authorize this. Ain't nobody from just walk up on no Jay Z. How did that impact T Pain after that? He happened? said he went like into a little slight depression. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like 
he like he took a break, really, you know what I'm saying, from music. For, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it was to the point where, man, like, I would come up here, man, and he just be just moping around and shit. I'm like, the house looking crazy. Like, I'm like, he ain't like doing, I'm like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Had to light some fire up on his ass. Yeah. So they, um, I think at the time, they was like, man, the man was like, man, he need to just get back to his roots. So they called me, they were like, hey, man, we finna send Payne down to Florida. <laughs> like, get him yeah, out of this we, shit. Yeah, we finna yeah. send him to Florida. And um, what was, I think it was Panama City or some shit, mm -hmm. some random city. Yeah. So we all went to Panama City, and that's when we, we did Up Down. Mm -hmm. We came back. Okay. Up Down single. Yeah. Down, and started yeah. back. Right, again. The so. ups and the downs of this industry, though, man, being there firsthand, I mean, what has that experience been like for you? How eye-opening was it for you just seeing all of those different changes, how you could go from being at the very top to at the very bottom very fast? Shit, just like the streets. You yep. feel me? You know, we <laughs> see, see the dude with the money, the dope boy with all the money, and then you either get popped or you get yep. robbed or something happened or the plug, fuck, whatever. You know what I'm saying? The nigga yep. that bounty, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just got to crawl, fight, bite. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And when you got a talent like pain, like, he a fuck like, dog. The niggas, when I tell you, is a fucking genius. Mm -hmm. Like, the niggas a fucking genius, dog. And it's, it's still to this day. And I've been, we've been rocking since, I don't know, almost, what, 15, 20 years or something like that. I still be fascinated how this nigga just be come up with the shit. So, you know what I'm saying? He the one who taught me. Yeah. And that's my little brother. He the one who taught me how to, you know what I'm saying? I don't write nothing. Just he just off the dome, like, with the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, we, you, we pens and pads not allowed in Nappy Boy. Mm. You feel me? So, he taught me that. But like, I seen that nigga, but like, when I really knew this nigga was a genius is when I seen this nigga record his ad libs first. Mm. Damn. He, he record his ad libs first. <laughs> then he do the verse And then everything he's saying Adds up to what the ad You know what I'm saying He be like yeah. Boom Yeah Alright all. And then he'll rap He'll free Like he coming off the dome with And it's all adding up to what the ad You know what I'm saying yeah. The ad libs after You know what it's I'm saying <laughs> I'm like this nigga is A different type of nigga boy Nigga recorded a song backwards Shit. Backwards Okay UGK performing and Pimp C and his sound system, man. Oh man, that was in Jacksonville. That was <laughs> that was crazy. Talk to me. That shit was crazy, man. I got so many stories, boy. Like new niggas came. Like we had book um, UGK in Jacksonville. This one I was in the stealing group. I was a jit. I probably was like seventeen, man. Them niggas came through, man. And first of all, I knew it was gonna be like I told Bun on the other podcast. I like I knew she was gonna fuck up because his son was like, my daddy ain't gonna like these hotels. <laughs> So I like, oh shit. Yeah. This is my brother them had Button though. So like we performed, we opened up for him and shit. Pimpsy came out there, that nigga I'll never forget. That nigga had no motherfucking uh, uh, it's Florida. Yeah. They got no mank, a mank of uh, coke, no shirt under that bitch. <laughs> Sweating like a dog. <laughs> he come with that bitch, he rocked it, rocking that bitch. <laughs> Mike fucking all up, man. That nigga, man, that nigga grabbed the mic, he said, Bomb, slammed that bitch on the ground and walked off the stage, walked backstage into the dressing room. My so God. we run by there. We're like, damn, well, you know what I'm saying? He said, man, fuck this shit, man. Y'all got to see fuck the hotel. The mic's <laughs> fucked up. Fuck this shit. We out of this bitch. Yeah. One of my partners, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about real street nigga, too. Uh, my partner, Robin Lamb. Mm -hmm. He like, nah, nigga, nah. He said, nigga, I don't know why. He said, y'all niggas talking about diamonds begin the wood. He said, nigga, we got diamonds on our shoes out here, nigga. <laughs> and pulled his shoe up, nigga, had some diamonds. That nigga said, nigga, that nigga, nigga pulled out a, I think it had to be a tech. He pulled that bitch up. He said, nigga, me. He said, y'all nigga better back this shit up before I fire this shit up. <laughs> Straight up like that, nigga. In the, in the dressing room, nigga. I like, how this nigga got, how this nigga got a motherfucking gun? You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker. He had it with him, though. Bum B was right there just like, you know, Bum B, you know, Bum B, he just, you know. He Train just, to go. Yeah, he just, yeah, he just ready. It's chill. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's what it is. Exactly. Yeah, and as you know. Niggas part of like the Red Sea again and we walked up <laughs> that bitch. And, you know what I'm saying? But I had talked to him again. I had uh I talked to him again um at uh when Payne had the uh, I'm in love with a stripper remix. Mm. See, I made that happen too, because you know, Mike Jones was my nigga. Yeah. So he hit me he like, man, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Blah, 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 blah. Uh Payne, I put that together with him and Payne for him to do the uh the uh I'm in love with a stripper song. Yeah. And then boy, it was a lot of shit behind that too. Like Crazy, mm -hmm. but I had seen Pimp C at the uh, video shoot, and he's like, "Man, yeah, I've been why you say I've been following you, I've been following <laughs> you, man." He said, "I said, he said, we be doing a record." I said, "He said, shit tomorrow." Mm. I like shit, bet. But he ended up skating out, and I ain't never get to do it. That's one of my biggest things. I yeah. wish I could have did a record. Uh, you, the pimp, uh, pimp, man. Yeah, man, yeah. boy. 
That's the only, probably the only two niggas I wanted to do a song with. Like, I'm like fan mode. Yeah. Pimp C, Prince, God, yeah. but he dead, and fucking Andre 3000. Everybody know that's my that? That's the GOAT to that's me. GOAT to all of us, man. Man, nigga be slapping. Oh, yeah, he was in the group, so he can't be the GOAT. Nigga, yeah. fuck that. <laughs> exactly. Nigga, verse for verse, nigga. Whoever. Jay-Z, Come on. Yeah, 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 them niggas. Well, whoever. I'm, I'm with Andre. This is a session with all of them. Straight up, nigga. I'm with three stacks. What you working on now, though, Cash? I'm just like, um, the, the fucking Blues Brothers shit, we've been working on that shit. You can tell Ten years, man. We've been saying we're gonna do this shit. Yeah, but like it's done got serious now. We got some regular. We had a deal on the table with um, uh, I can't remember what the label was. Pain crashed it out though. Pain, we went crazy in L.A. We got into it. it a whole bunch of shit. That's brother shit though. You know, yeah. man. We always get into it about some shit, but uh, we working on it now though. So now we putting the songs together. It's gonna be like kind of like we gonna do the songs and have the videos like going straight through. So it's gonna be like a movie slash. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah. shit like that. Since it's the Blues Brothers, like we mimicking the original Blues Brothers shit. So. I'm working on that, and I got a mixtape I'm working on. Okay, and, you know I just work. I just be working, dog. You feel I'm me? With you, I'm working with Playboy, you. Playboy working with little bro. Playboy. He got See, his what you drop. don't know about Playboy? Playboy was one of the. If he wasn't the first nigga I ever interviewed, he was in the top five <laughs> first niggas <laughs> I ever that. interviewed. And I remember that, and it just pisses me out because now you make me feel old coming here with this old grown man yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. used to the skinny face, <laughs> Playboy. I see grown man yeah, daddy, he Playboy, said walking in here. Yeah, he said oh he my God. Man. man, that's crazy as hell. Time has flew by, man. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, you said you still got the same math, though. Yeah, I yeah. Said what I told you, I said, DJ yeah. niggas don't never change their number, boy. Yeah, they got no. to keep that same number. <laughs> Straight up. He was like, Go. he called me for a 310 number. I was like, 310, that don't sound yeah, right. Yeah, that ain't yeah, me. Yeah, that yeah, ain't yeah. me. Four, four, four to the day yeah, I go. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know. Up. But now, lastly, Cash, how can your people contact you? And is there anything that you want your folks to know out here, man? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm back at you, man. Grinding, man. You can hit me on Instagram, Young Cash, Twitter, Young Cash. Oh, shit. Call my phone, 310 729 7655. Shit, I don't, hey. Yes, sir. You reach me. I ain't got nothing to hide. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, I can see. You feel me? Call me with the tap line. Shit, they going to be just practicing. Come on. You feel me? I ain't shit. I'm good. I'm all strictly music, baby. But yeah, nah, we um I'm gonna be on tour though with uh we're going on the Nappy Boy tour, like I said. Okay. Tour to Wisconsin. That shit gonna be big. Yeah. So like I said, we got like twenty dates on that bitch. They most cities getting added. So yeah, man, I'm just doing that, man. Feature I'm the feature king. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I write okay. I do features all that's what I be doing. That's that's just music, you feel exactly, me? Exactly, man. I'm I come here from for that background. My nigga. Cash. My nigga. My dog, Playboy. Already. Yes, sir. Be high ready, yo, shouting, man. Holler at y'all in a minute. Yeah. We gone.